Hi guys, Nana here. So today I am going to try to recreate a dish that is very, very close to my heart. This is hands down probably my favorite dish of all time. Now I could always associate this, you know, coming back from a very long day at school. This was when I was in primary school and um, I could smell this from like 20 meters away from my late grandma and granddad's house. Um, and I hope I could give it justice even though I might not be having all the ingredients that she used. So this is called Nilubihang Alimango or um, some of my hometown friends said um, it was called Nilubihang Kagang. Now it basically just translates to crab weight coconut. Typically this would have been wrapped in banana leaves but right now I don't have banana leaves. <laughs> and my grandma used to cook it with fresh coconut meat. Um, but I don't have that either so I'm still hoping it will turn out okay but I'm quite confident because today again to those who have not made the palapa recipe that I posted please make it because there are plenty of dishes that we can use that so instead of young coconut um, I'll be using my um, palapa that I made last week so let's get started so I've got here a pan so you just heat it up and then I've got here say about two tablespoons of vegetable oil just waiting for that to heat up a little bit now I've got here small onion slice just roughly slice it don't need to be too small I've got here a small piece of ginger. Now, if you knew what went into that palapa, you know that you know we've got lemongrass in there, we've got spring onions in there, we've got ginger, chilies, and all sorts in the palapa, so we don't need a lot of other flavors really. I've got here about three garlic cloves. And then I've got here some green and red chili. Now, again, you know, it's up to you on how much heat you can tolerate, you guys. Um, because, you know, the palapa that I made last time was already quite spicy. There's already plenty of chilies in there. But then it, this just adds a different dimension to the dish. Right. So I'll be using um, two crabs with this recipe. Now, I sent Tim earlier, and he bought me already dressed crabs. Now, if you know if your crabs are not dressed and ready, what you need to do is just to um, say parboil the crab and then just pick all the meat including the brown meat and the white meat and then just you know set the shell aside because we will be using that so once that's ready I've got here my palapa now I want to use quite a lot because as I said uh, my grandma used to probably use about two to three um, coconuts young coconuts with this recipe so I've put in there three um, heaped tablespoons of balapa. Okay, I'll make it four. Sorry. And then just give it a mix. This is very easy, you guys. And I am pretty certain that this is going to be really, really good. So, about it. And then in here, I've got just one third cup of coconut milk. You don't need a lot. We don't need it to be very soupy. We will add all the crab meat in there, guys. So it just needs to be 
um, to help make it a little bit <laughs> moist. <laughs> Some people don't like that word, but I like the word moist. So that's it. So now, so you just cook this for another minute after you add your coconut milk. Or you can use um, the coconut cream, which is which is going to make it a little bit thicker. Maybe just add a little bit of water, say two tablespoons of water. I hope I'm still making sense. So now with the crab, again, where's my teaspoon? Um, I don't have it. So I've got here, I think this is equivalent to one crab. So, oh my goodness, look at that. So mine's already dressed. Again, as I said, if you're gonna use full crabs, then just basically parboil it and then pick all the red meat and the white meat and discard. <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, sorry guys. The fumes of the chilies. And discard the rest of the um, you know inedible part and just keep the two shells so you don't really want to cook this we are gonna steam this guys after we mix it we'll just give it a quick mix actually you can turn the hob off now so you just add your spring onions and then that's about it and then after this we are gonna put this back on the shell, I know there's a lot more here <laughs> with the added like um, spices, the onions and everything. So there's gonna be a lot more, so it's gonna be a bit more fuller this time. Let me just taste a little bit. Oh my God, you guys, I am telling you, please make the palapa, please make the palapa. That's all I'm asking. And then we can do this. So basically, you just fill this up, right? Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, right, because I don't have banana leaves, you guys. This would have been so much better with banana leaves. One second. Right, so I'm gonna use <laughs> tin foil. This would have looked so dramatic in banana leaves. And so much more authentic but okay so just let's fill the other one first just pile it up it doesn't matter this is so good honestly guys you will love me for this please make the palapa and see how easy that was that wasn't hard at all all you have to do is fry a little bit of onion garlic ginger right So just pile it high on top. I'm so excited. I've got here, say about, I've got here four mints. So just on top of your crab, so just roughly tear some mint leaves on top. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then I'm gonna put this here. Again, just tear some mint leaves because my grandma used to, I, I don't know, I think I've said it in um, other videos so many times. My grandma used to use this herb called humutan back in the province, but I could not, for the life of me, find that anywhere or know what it is in English. So that's it, you guys. So. That is all you need to do and then now we will just need to steam that for say 10 minutes and that is it so i just got it out fresh from the steamer you guys so i just want you to see it once we open it oh my gosh oh my goodness okay oh it's hot one second <laughs> Oh 
Oh my goodness, you guys. Put this a little sauce here, don't waste that. So just drizzle it on top. This looks so amazing, you guys. I promise you all, you won't be sorry if you are gonna make this. So that is our Nilubihang Alimango, or my version of my grandma's Nilubihang Alimango. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know once you make it, you guys.